yeah, so daytime sleepiness is, is a real big trigger. Um, is, and it can be a good predictor that, that something is wrong during people's sleep. And sleep apnea it tends to be the most common cause that people are, are sleepy. The second most common cause is that people aren't able to get enough sleep, where just from either the demands from their family or their job, uh, they aren't able to get in bed early enough, and then they have to get up early to either get the kids off or get to school. And if you get five and a half hours of sleep at night, unfortunately, you're going to be tired. Um, but as far as other things that can disrupt sleep, sometimes people move their legs quite a bit and some people have something called restless leg syndrome where for reasons we don't really understand, which is why we call it it's a syndrome, we don't know the reason behind it, that their legs are very uncomfortable at night. They have this sensation that they just need to move their legs. It's not painful, but it just is something that is quite uncomfortable and there's actually some very good medications with very few side effects that can really help those people. Help them fall asleep as well as stay asleep. So that's another thing that interferes with people's sleep that we see commonly. And then rarely there are some people who their brains do not get regenerated by sleep like other people's. And the most common diagnosis for that would be something called narcolepsy which we don't see very often, um, but we, when we do see it, it is a very real condition where uh, with, um, without help, people are very sleepy and have a difficult time living their lives. And with the help of a sleep physician, we can certainly is a very manageable condition.